bringing more diversity and voices to the table. That's the goal of Duluth's new African Heritage Commission, which just held its first meeting this week. CBS 3's Emma Quinn spoke to a member about the goals this commission has for the community. An idea first sparked years ago is now happening. Duluth's first African Heritage Commission. Well, the idea actually came from the community. Um, we've been hearing for years um, the African heritage community doesn't uh, have a lot of foundation or even like uh, a safe space to be in. Duluth City Councilor Janet Kennedy is hoping the new commission will build a better foundation for the African community to share their voices with city leaders. To ensure that our policies, practices and procedures aren't negatively impacting uh, people of color. The idea was initially proposed in May and received unanimous support from the rest of city council. We can no longer govern sort of in a vacuum and that we need every all voices at the table. Hoping to bring a voice to the table, but also bringing more resources to those in Duluth's African community. To have voices that are disproportionately, you know, facing decreased life expectancies, decreased wealth, decreased educational outcomes, decreased ability to buy a housing. Kennedy believes the diverse group of members will continue to shed a light on disparities the African heritage community has faced due to systemic racism. Uh, African heritage people have always known these things have been happening. It just has been brought to light to other communities now in a way that it really informs what we've been saying to other people. The seven-member commission held its first meeting Monday night. Kennedy says the group is made of African heritage people of all ages, educational opportunities, and experiences. Coming up in